Okay, it's Monday afternoon. We've been hauling manure for the most most of the day here. We started to get a little bit of snow. We shut down the, the two of us with the tractor trailers did. This is where we're going. We have to go up a pretty steep hill. Uh, right when I was draining my tank, Sarge called me. He had a brake lock up on uh, truck 15. So we're just going down after him now we're gonna see what the heck he's got going on I don't know if he's got a brake uh, cammed over or if he's got a slack adjuster that's screwed up so we're gonna get him going get him offloaded and if anything else at least limp the truck back to the shop I'm really hoping that I haven't got to do anything right alongside the road here he is parked in a good spot but he is loaded with a load of manure um, so we're going to be to him in a couple minutes here we'll see what goes on uh, these things always happen at the, the most opportune time um, we've got uh, manure that we're hauling in two different spots the guys with the straight trucks they're more or less running to a spot that's on the level. Now, it looks like he might be empty. I'm not sure why he's all turned around, but he's right up here on the left. So we're going to pull in and see what's going on. Well, he is loaded. So hopefully he hasn't got a bearing gone or something. Uh, he thought it was a break. What side is it? I think it's this side over here where we might replace the tire. Okay, you ain't got a... got a soft tire now, too. Okay. Yeah, let me get turned around then. Uh, he said he's seen something smoking, so he might not have a brake locked up after all. He might have a uh, bad tire. That just has to be how you're sitting. Well, put the put the truck in gear and release the brakes. That's just how he's turned. problem right there he's got a hose broken so got a broken hose that's what you got wrong okay. oh, right on the brake chamber there. yeah right on the brake chamber so all right we've got to reach in here and figure out yeah you might as well Oh, we got camera action here somewhere? Yeah, there we go, right there. Ah, we've got just a... Oh, let's see here. We've got an air hose that's unhooked from this fitting. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, see if there's penetrating oil in there or something. I'll just clean this fitting out. push lock fitting actually I'm gonna it'll kind of swivel so yeah I can push it up on here <clears throat> go back to the shop and get one so uh, I have to take myself out of here and get an air fitting. I assume that he had a uh, brake just uh, wore just enough and then when that um, slack adjuster comes around to activate the brake shoes, if they're wore just enough, it'll cam over and it won't release. It'll just leave the brake shoes locked on. Uh, when you get a uh, brake drum that's wore and brake shoes that are wore, they'll do that. So, had that problem before, but the, the brakes are okay. It just happens to be uh, the, the little air fitting has lost its grip. So, this is just a push lock um, thing that goes on to a, a 3 8 airline. So we'll head back to the shop and we'll grab one of them uh, fittings and we'll get back to him and get him going before it gets dark here. Alright, I'm just leaving the shop now. Alright, I'm just leaving the shop now. I didn't have the right damn fitting um, to use for this. So what I'm going to use is a 90. And then that's probably going to pitch our angle a little off. So we'll just add on to the hose that's on there. And then connect it with this uh, union here. So I've got to get more uh, 3 8 by 3 8 uh, push lock air brake fittings. Um, I've got a whole assortment of crap, but I just happen to be running low on uh, that size fitting so I've got to get a bunch of them Jared he's working on the um, one of the lift hoses one of the hydraulic hoses that goes to his swing boom the up and down hose um, he blew one of them so we kind of got snowed off where we were going but um, you know as it is it's kind of the end of the day anyways we we would have had enough time to haul one or two more but uh sarge broke down here anyways so this will give me a chance to get him up and going but as you can see right now it's you know the it's calm out now but that one back road that uh we're going up has got quite a hill in it and uh that's probably snow covered we'll probably have to take care of sanding that ourselves the town doesn't like to get after that road too much because they really don't care about there's only a few residents on that road and they don't care if they plow the road for them or salt the road for them so they kind of ignore uh this one back road that we're running down so i kind of see the point too you know there's any sense 
them guys run it all the way down there to sand the road for us when there's only five or six residents on it. So, you know, um, so we'll get back down here and get Sarge up and going. Alright, I didn't quite have the right fitting, but I think I've got what we need here. of the differential. Can you see that right there, this bracket? Put it in the shop. See that bracket right there? Yep. Put it in the shop tonight. Pull that bolt out right there and bolt that back in there. Okay. That's come out of there. I don't think Another spot for it. Now, it would work best if it was right here. Looks like we got a torque arm coming apart there, too. But, well, at any rate, I'm going to jump on out of here. Uh, actually, why don't you, uh, Oh, let's see. Why don't you release the brakes? Just make sure it doesn't roll or anything. Make sure this releases and works. Uh, he's going to jump up in there and release that. Okay. We're good. So those shoes uh, released. crawl on out of here that's all that needed so yeah that 90s not bad uh, that'll work like that that's that's good all right and uh, check with Jay and John I don't know where bolts they are Jason just went through I don't think yeah. he'll be bringing another load right now so and just uh, put that in tonight, torque them wheels, check the air pressure. We'll pull that bolt out of the front of the differential and put that bracket, uh, we'll bolt that bracket back up. Alright. Now uh, there's John there. John just went by. Alright. Oh. Alright, so, um... I don't know why that bracket 
is not in there anymore. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, or why that bracket's not bolted any longer, but that uh, bracket must have vibrated, pulled on that fitting enough that it, it took the, the bite out of the fitting. A little part of that uh, push lock fitting that holds the uh, nylon um, air brake tube in there and just kind of let go. So vibration and just a lot of tugging and jerking probably is what uh, did that in. So, um, the brakes are in good shape on that truck. He's got them adjusted up tight enough. Uh, as you can see in that uh, part of the video where he released the park brake and them uh, shoes backed off the drum and they still stayed within the, the uh, you know the tolerance of the, the brake drum to be in, in spec so uh, we're gonna head back to the shop and uh, I'm gonna get out of my wet clothes here I've been crawling around in that uh, on that ground there fixing that um, airline I had the freaking wrong, uh, the wrong size push lock union. I had the freaking tubing in my hand, and when I grabbed the uh, push lock union, I never even checked it to make sure it was three eighths. I had a half inch, so it would have uh, <clears throat> made better sense if I would have checked that before I left. But as it is, uh, I rushed myself and I ended up screwing myself. So. Well, if, uh, if anything else, this might be the last part of the video here. Um, thanks for watching, folks. Please, please uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, we've been gaining uh, quite a few subscribers, so I've got to do a little better job at these videos and offer up a little better something than, than what I've been doing here. So... Uh, Got to get a better camera here and whatever, so...